Pete Hoffman here. I wrote a book called The Big Crunch. So, what's it about? Well, first, The Big Crunch is not about a new breakfast cereal. That's way too crunchy, even with milk. And it's not about a car crash. The Big Crunch is a love story. About a boy. No, not that boy. And a girl. No, not her either. No, not them. It's about this other boy and girl that you could actually, you know, hang out with. So why did I call it the Big Crunch? Well, the Big Crunch is a theory about what might happen to the universe in, oh, say, XX humpty zillion years. So who gives a crap? Well, it's a metaphor. Writers use them to make themselves feel smart. Teachers use them, too, mostly to mess with your head. I mean, just looking at that gives me brain freeze. Anyway, the Big Crunch theory is sort of connected with the Big Bang theory, which is like a metaphor for God or if you prefer, the other way around. You know, in the beginning, there was nothing. No space, no time, nothing. Okay, there was something. A pixel. You see the pixel? Right there. But all around the pixel was nothing. Nada. Zilch. Diddly squat. Then something happened. An expansion. Incredibly fast of a staggeringly hot and dense soup of matter, antimatter, quarks, gluons, leptons, and other stuff that hurts my head to think about. Where there'd been nothing, there became something. And that something got bigger and bigger and bigger. And pretty soon, in about oh, 13.7 billion years, these bipedal, warm-blooded primates showed up and started thinking about you know, WTF stuff. And they called the expanding something the universe. Okay, now if you buy the Big Bang Theory, and not everyone does, we're all part of this expanding mass, and it really doesn't matter on a day-to-day -day basis, other than as a metaphor, which, like I said, only writers and teachers actually care about. But like most things, you got to figure that sooner or later, uh, a lot later, I hope, it's going to end. Now some cosmologists, now, not the people who tell you which lipstick shade works best for your autumn complexion. I'm talking about the ones who tell you what kind of lipstick to wear for the end of the universe. Anyway, some of these end-of-time type cosmologists think that the expansion of the universe will, in a few billion years, give or take, reverse itself. The cosmologists call that event the Big Crunch. Anybody who's ever fallen in love knows what I'm talking about. Bang. Crunch. The Big Crunch is a story about real people falling in love. It's unlike any love story you've ever read before. January 1st, 2011, from Scholastic.